Alrighty, houses, welcome back. And in this video, we are going to talk about these wikis. So whenever you make a repository, it comes with a wiki. And if you don't know what a wiki is, it's basically an area that provides more information about your repository. And you don't have to have it, but if you want, you can go ahead and make a bunch of pages in it. And there is no set rules for what you're supposed to put in a wiki. I've seen a bunch of different projects include a bunch of different things. Some people put like documentation in there. Some people actually have like a bio of all of their developers. Some people just have, you know, instructions on how to use whatever project they're, you know, developing. So I'll show you guys mine right here. So on mine, the home page is basically just a cool little banner. And then I'm going to write right here, like a brief overview of what this is. And then I have, you know, some pictures of all of the main developers and also for this one, of course, this is an open source social network that anyone in the world can, you know, help improve and fix bugs on. So I'm going to go ahead and make a detailed guide on how to set it up for each operating system, Windows, Linux, and uh, Mac, OS 10, whatever you want to call it. So I already started doing that. So you can see that I broke it up into, you know, installing it, editing your host files, setting up the database, yada, yada, yada. So if you just want to put a bunch of pictures of memes in here, you can. So it's really up to you. But first, let's figure out how to do that. So that was the one for the new boss and the actual one I'm working on. And this is just a docs project. So I'm going to click wiki and this one doesn't have any pages yet. So I'm going to go ahead and create the first page just by clicking that. And the first page that you always create should be the home page. So don't change the title for your first one. And what can I put? I'll say, uh, welcome to the dogs repo wiki. This is the best wiki ever. All right, looking good, mate. And I actually want to make this stand out. So I'll give it a heading too. And of course I can preview it. Wow, that is a good looking wiki. I'll say uh, more to come soon. All right, so you probably don't even need a tutorial for this. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit save. And look at this. So now whenever someone is like, all right, this project is looking pretty sweet, want some more information about it, gonna go ahead and check out this wiki. Boom, look at this. Now, if you wanna add new pages, I'm not really gonna talk you through this. It's pretty easy. You can just click new page, give it a title like, um, dot, I'll say, I don't know, random page two. And I'll say uh, like dank memes coming soon. So I'll go ahead and save this. And whenever you have multiple pages, you have a little default navigation on the right hand side, which you can cycle or navigate between them. Now, one useful thing that I do want to mention is you can actually add your own custom sidebar. So instead of just making a bunch of pages and grouping them together by default, you can actually break it up into sections like I did right here. So in order to do that, what I did is whenever you add a custom sidebar, you need to keep this title the same. So underscore sidebar, and that just lets GitHub know that, hey, this, whatever I write in here, this content, I want you to plop it right on that sidebar. So I'll show you guys what I have for this. Basically, to get these bold headings, I just either use these two asterisks or I can just put bold right there. Now for each of my links, I actually use a bullet point. So this bullet point list right here, what I did is I add a link. Now the text that displays to the user, you put in square brackets and the actual URL you put in those parentheses. So that's the format for github markup and it just helps you make a little bit cleaner sidebar so actually if i let me just copy this one so now i can go ahead and save this and check it out so this would be something that i would want in whenever you have a sidebar this section right here of your pages gets collapsed so check it out and you can also do this for a footer, but it's the same thing. So I didn't need to talk you guys through that. So yeah, wiki's really, really easy to understand. There isn't any limit on 
how many pages you can have and there isn't any restrictions on what type of content you want and it's actually probably going to be a little bit different for every single project what you want in your wiki a lot of the smaller ones they don't even have them but pretty easy to understand so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time